judges and friends. My name is Janice Geraldine Chen. My name is Randy Orfalo Vijaya and we are from Santa Lorenzia High School. Have you ever heard of radiotherapy and chemo drugs? Yes, it is a treatment to cure cancer. But sadly, this type of treatment can cause side effects such as pulmonary hemorrhage and Hanford syndrome. That's right. But don't worry, because shield lichen and palmitic acid could be the alternative as natural anti-cancer which leads us to present our research title Comparison Study of Anti-Cancer Potential from Shield Lichen Extract and Palmitic Acid Through the Inhibition of Angiogenesis on Cheek type Membrane We hope you enjoy! Cancer is one of the most dangerous and widely occurring diseases throughout the whole world. It is known as one of the leading causes of death. In the last decade, there have been an increasing amount of new cancer cases and reported deaths globally. In the U.S. today, one-third of people will eventually develop cancer. This is why cancer is such a big health issue we are currently facing. As of now, there is no absolute cure for cancer. There are only treatment options like surgery, radiotherapy, and chemotherapy drugs. However, these methods may cause more harm than good, as there are severe side effects such as hair loss, skin infection, etc. Therefore, we found an innovative solution. We found that shield lichen, which is usually just ignored and often overlooked, contains these useful secondary metabolites that can be beneficial as an anti-cancer to angiogenesis inhibition, meaning it could block the growth of blood vessels or nutrient supply needed for cancer growth. From the problem shown, we found some research questions. First, how to extract secondary metabolite from shield lichen. Second, how is the content of secondary metabolite in shield lichen extract? And third, how is the anti-cancer potential of shield lichen extract and palmitic acid to the inhibition of angiogenesis on cheek coriolanthoid membrane? The main objective of our research is to compare the anti-cancer potential of shield lichen extract and palmitic acid to the inhibition of angiogenesis on cheek coriolanthoid membrane. To achieve our goal, we follow these steps of research. First is simplicial making and extraction. We gather the shield lichen, dry it, ground it, Sift it until we get Simplicia powder as shown. The Simplicia is macerated in 96% ethanol, evaporated, and thus we obtain viscous extra. The next step is identification of secondary metabolites. First, we did the phytochemical screening. We identified carboxylic acid by adding sodium bicarbonate. Then, for sulfonoids, we used two types of reagents, sodium hydroxide for the first type and hydrochloric acid, also magnesium, for the second. Alkaloid using iodine solution, steroid using acetic acid and sulfuric acid, tricarbonoid using concentrated sulfuric acid, tannin using very chloride solution, and saponin by using lead acetate. At last, the presence of secondary metabolites were confirmed by using FDIR infrared spectroscopy. And here is the most important step of our research, the anti-angiogenesis test. In this research, we compared the anti-angiogenesis potential of shield lichen extract and palmitic acid in three different concentrations, 5%, 10%, and 15%, and the negative control is aqua death. To do the test, we poke a hole and remove 2 ml of the albumin. We make another hole and inject 1 ml of the extract. We close the hole and label the egg. The egg was put on an incubator for 37 degrees Celsius and humidity 50 to 60 percent. After the incubation, we observe the blood vessel growth. The absence of blood vessel growth indicates great potential to inhibit angiogenesis. The less the blood vessel, the greater the potential. Here are the results of our research. Extraction produces a simplicia powder and the shield lichen extract is viscous and dark brown in color. The phytochemical screening indicates potential secondary metabolites such as palmitic acid, alkaloid, triterpenoid, steroid, tannin, saponin, and also flavonoid in the extract. The presence of secondary metabolites were confirmed by the major peaks in the FDIR spectrum, which are OH alcohol which overlaps with NHMI, OH acid, CHLK, C double O acid, C double C alkene, C double C arene, and CO alcohol, which are blessed with CO acid and ester. Surprisingly, these major peaks are similar to those in the FDR spectrum of palmitic acid, which is very potential as an angiogenesis inhibitor. And here's the most important part of our research the anti angiogenesis test results. The anti angiogenesis potential is determined by the growth of blood vessels. The absence of blood vessel growth indicates a great potential as an angiogenesis inhibitor. 
the less the blood vessels means the greater the potential. These tables exhibit the observation result of chicken eggs within incubation period of 6 days. On the left is the negative control which shows obvious signs of embryo growth and significant increase in blood vessel growth. Surprisingly, in the shield lactin extract and palmitic acid, there's no growth of blood vessels at all. Then, for an incubation period of 7 days, a rapid blood vessel growth in the negative control was observed. Amazingly, shield lichen extract still shows no signs of blood vessel growth. However, 5% palmitic acid exhibits the growth of blood vessels. Therefore, shield lichen extract is potential as the angiogenesis inhibitor, greater than palmitic acid. And here is the angiogenesis test results observed under the microscope. Negative control chicken eggs with an incubation period of 6 days show clear and branched blood vessels. In contrast, Shield like an extract and palmitic acid did not show any growth of blood vessels. Next, for an incubation period of 7 days, a clear rapid blood vessel growth in the negative control was observed. Shockingly, shield like an extract has greater potential as angiogenesis inhibitor in all concentrations compared to palmitic acid, which is proven by the absence of blood vessel growth in shield like an extract, while 5% palmitic acid exhibits the growth of blood vessels. Based on our research, we conclude that the angiogenesis inhibition potential of shield lichen extract towards trichorealantoic membrane surpasses palmitic acid at 5% concentration, although they are equivalent at 10% and 15%. For the future work, we can investigate the potential of shield lichen extract as an angiogenesis inhibitor using exome 4 chemistry method. That's all for our presentation. And remember, fighting the cancer, Pamitikasi like a turtle, shield like a rabbit. Thank you!